you have to work on your skills you have to develop some skills make some practical application you have to showcase it you have to make some projects and work on that you can join some data tech fair there you will get to learn more you can interact with more people from the different different domain so there is a important message i would like to give और गैस वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन आई एम हियर विद व्हाट्स नेम गगन गगन बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट कोर्स कर रहे हैं एंड स्पेशली हिज बैकग्राउंड इज आल्सो डिफरेंट ऑफ कोर्स यू गाइस हैव ऑलरेडी फिगर्ड आउट बाय द टाइटल ऑफ दिस वीडियो बट हाउ अबाउट वी क्विकली स्टार्ट विद योर इंट्रोडक्शन सो हाय गाइस माय नेम इज गगन खेतवानी एंड आई हैव डन माय बैचलर्स इन इंडिया इन बैंकिंग एंड इंश्योरेंस एंड आफ्टर दैट आई हैव अ वर्क एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ 4 टू 6 इयर्स इन फाइनेंस मोस्टली सो माय बैकग्राउंड वाज टोटली इन लाइक बैंकिंग इंश्योरेंस एंड फाइनेंस स्टॉक मार्केट स्टॉक ब्रोकिंग लाइक दैट बट आई गॉट अ एडमिट इन मास्टर्स इन इकोनॉमिक्स एंड डेटा साइंस इट्स अ डिफरेंट कोर्स because i don't have any economical background mm-hmm. and i don't have any data science technical background but then too i got to admit in this course so i think so the main reason is because like i have some like i have my credit points in business in my course in my bachelor course there was some many credit points in business so that cover the requirement and also my grade was good so if i will convert my indian grade to german grade it was around 1.6 or 1.7 so i think so because of that i got admit so he's currently studying in martin luther university yeah, yeah? martin luther university of halle in wittenberg correct how is banking and insurance bachelors related to what you're studying right now so like we have some common subjects like a business subjects okay like turn around management and business case studies like that things so that we have covered in and bachelor yeah in bachelor and also in bachelor i have some few subjects like economics 1 economics 2 mm. and also quantitative method methods 1 and quantitative methods 2 so here in this course they ask for around 50 60 credit points you have a 50 60 credit points from your bachelor in the subjects like uh, business economics or quantitative mathematical so i think so that covered my requirement and right. that's how i got admit okay okay and how many universities did you apply i applied for 12 universities okay what were they if you can name some at least uh, one was with martin course. luther with martin luther the courses like i told in the starting in paderborn and that masters in economics and organization hw of berlin and that up masters in business analytics and so, so you were very clear ki mereko public mein university mein hi jana yeah i was very clear and i did not apply in nahi private nahi nahi dena tha paisa zyada <laughs> Okay okay why didn't you go for MBA after working for almost 4 5 years this is what normally people do right yeah but if you see i analyzed the like job market after MBA like i did some my research on that and i saw that like if first of all if you have to do MBA then you need a like a requirement was german because it's a business course and if you after the job you need german anyhow in germany because you have to speak with german so there was a requirement of like most of the university were asking for german in my case what i did some research and if not they are giving some admits uh, without german then if i want job i need to learn german so i was not shocked okay, like right. mai kar paunga any german ka and then one thing was like in market there are too many mbas if you'll see like every mba they go to the business consultant side i want to go in pwc i want to go in this this company or like that uh, so every person who is who has done mba have wants to go to the business analytical uh, business consultancy side and there are not much jobs for that so i thought why not do a masters like which has a specialization in subject i think so this is rare not everyone is focusing to uh, to specialize one field like i and now i'm doing masters in data science and economics so i can move towards like i can go to the economical research side i can go to the data science data and analytical side so i have many options open in front of me right. but if you have done mba you can go in consulting like or business development or maybe some management related role and also the job market was not good for my analysis i know like many people have their different thought process but i was more comfortable with this what kind of bachelors are accepted for this program bachelors in business management bachelors in economics bachelors in business economics Do you think in your experience is it advisable to take at least 2 to 3 years of experience when somebody graduates as a bachelor in India yeah, and then come so for that. masters yes 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 i will because direct aane pe thoda problem ho rahi hai yeah nahin? yeah so if i say this because work experience bahut kaam aata hai in my case it helped me a lot to get a working student job i got a working student job in just 4 months when i came here so i think so work experience bahut kaam aata hai yahan pe related mm-hmm. agar ho to zyada acha hai i saw that uh, most of the jobs are data driven and the requirement for data is high like data is a new oil Right. said by the mukesh ambani so that's for how i decided to take the course it helped me with choosing my course the work experience it helped me to get a job in germany mm. and i can also like relate to something okay if i'm studying something whatever i'm doing in my course i can relate it okay ye aisa aisa real world mein chalta hai so ye cheez main aise apply kar sakta hu so i don't think so i was able to do this when i was doing bachelor and i i did not had any work experience i was just reading a books and giving the exam but here i can think more practically like how things are in real life and how can i apply my knowledge in real life right. 
इससे मैं कौन सा जॉब ले सकता हूँ लाइक दैट वट स्पेशलाइजेशन वन कैन डू इन दिस कोर्स डेटा साइंस फील्ड इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी एनालिसिस फील्ड यू कैन वर्क एज अ रिसर्च यू कैन डू पी एच डी देर मेनी स्पेशलाइजेशन एंड यू वॉन्ट डू डेटा साइंस आई वॉन्ट टू गो टूज डेटा साइंस इमेजिन फॉर यू कम्प्लीट दिस प्रोग्राम एंड नाउ यू लुकिंग फॉर जॉब राइट हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मच सैलरी यू वुड एक्सपेक्ट आई थिंक सो फॉर डेटा साइंस इज डिपेंड अपॉन द सिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाईली डिपेंड अपॉन यूर इन विथ सिटी बिकॉज सिटीज है बिग लाइक मोर सैलरीज एंड स्मॉलर सिटीज है नॉट दैट मच ऑफ सैलरी सो आई थिंक सो अराउंड फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी थाउजेंड यूरो पर यो इज वॉट आई हैव सीन एज पर द वेबसाइट बट स्टिल वंस इफ आई हैव आई एम डन विद माई कोर्स एंड इफ आई गो टू द जॉब मार्केट डेन आई विल गेट टू नो द प्रैक्टिकल एंड द रियल वर्ल्ड वॉट इज द रियलिटी राइट वॉट आर योर टॉप three skills on your cv right now so i think so analytical is one skills because previously i worked for the research and analytics role so i think so analysis is one skill and i have developed some technical skills like coding skills which i have never done in the past python and r from this course and the other skills i would say soft skill or uh, team management or like a team building or to coordinate with people in a team and how much are you spending for this degree it's a public university so we just have semester contribution of around 270 280 euro per sem right right Right. Have you come fully prepared for both the years of cost of living or only one year? No. So the first year was my block account. I was dependent on that, and when I came here, I started looking for the job. In fact, when I got admitted in India at that time, only I start uh, started looking for the job in Germany. Then I did some research. Okay, in Halle, what are the job opportunities, and what are the new universities? Like I'm working in Leipzig, so Leipzig has many job opportunities, especially the English speaking jobs. And that was my aim. Okay, I will find a job in the, my first year. Then I will manage my living expense. So I got a job. Like in 4 months 4 5 months and started i have started to work from last 2 months and now i am depend upon that income what do you want to tell all those future data scientists who want to make their career in germany and thinking to come into masters here what are the key areas they should really focus on if they want to be employable in this country you should build your skills first of all the second is you should build your profile because if you have skills and you don't have any internship or working student experience in the data science field then i think so it's hard to get a full time job after that what i have seen you and yeah your skills you can build while you are studying like you can in your course and most of the course in germany has a has a coding skills analytical skills you have projects you have to build out that projects uh, you have to do some research on your own so you will get to learn uh, research skills as well and the other thing is like you should do networking because networking is important i got a job it was not only just because i had a skill knowledge and previous experience you have to work on your skills you have to develop some skills then you have to make some practical application you have to showcase it okay i can do this i can make this project i can work on this part you have to make some projects and work on that and other thing is you have to network and you you know how to sell your skills to to other people and where are the opportunities you can join some tech fairs also there are many tech fairs and i think the one is in berlin in next month there is in frankfurt a big data tech fair there you will get to learn more you can interact with more people from the different different domain not only data science but different tech domains so there is a important message i would like to give i will leave some links in the description of this video make sure that you jump on to them and to like this video hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you guys next time bye bye thank you